It was the first day of the summer halls. And I was on a right rip-roaring jolly to find out more about the famous five. Also on board was a kindly old fellow, children's literature expert Nicholas Tucker. Amy Blyton was an amazingly prolific writer, said Nicholas, scoffing down a scrumptious cake with lashings of hot coffee. She wrote at such speed, she could sometimes write a whole novel in a week. Enid wrote 21 books about the adventures of siblings Anne, Dick and Julian and their cousin, Tomboy George, who was the author's favourite character. That was the one that Enid Blyton made her own character because she was a little bit like that, apparently, when she was a child. And then there's Timmy the dog, who's so intelligent <laughs> that he pretty well has human status. So I'll give him a message and he'll know exactly where to take it to. The books made the oh-so-smashing leap from page to screen in 1978. Sadly, actress Michelle Gallagher, who played George, passed away in 2000. But today, 40 years after they first met, I'm meeting the rest of the cast. Still fast friends. And today we're going on a topping adventure. And Timmy, hello Timmy, how you've changed. The series brought to life the adventures of all but three of the books. One of those, Five Have a Mystery to Solve, featured Whispering Island, which good old Enid based on Brown Sea Island near Poole. Come on, gang. I've brought the most amazing picnic. Loads of ginger beer and tomato sandwiches. It'll be such great fun. Come on, let's find a good spot. We walked until our legs couldn't carry us and settled down in a craggy cove. What was it like being the famous five? They rented us a big farmhouse and we all lived together as one oh, big family. Wow. Genu genuinely as brothers and sisters and cousins and things. And, and it was just us four kids in the house. And we had some amazing fun, we had some amazing rows, and it was just it was just like being a family. Friends? Friends! I don't mind telling you this, George. I'd hate to be your enemy. And another... Sniffy old BBC had turned down Enid's book several times. Fortunately, ITV were more receptive. Are you coming to tea? But the time it was made, it was the most expensive children's television uh, programme made in Britain. It has a, a sort of a gloss and a sheen to it. So what were your favourite memories of making the famous Five TV series? They asked us if we could horse ride. We and, of course, all three of us could. could. Yes. All of us yeah, well, yes. We all said we yes. could. I don't think any of us could, nope. could we? Um, <laughs> so I was put on the producer's shoulders. And he, and he sort of walked around like yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, he did <laughs> the action of a horse, and, and I was able to swing my head and didn't need to have a, a helmet. <laughs> Unlike today, bothersome things like health and safety just weren't a worry. There was one episode where we were all on the roof. Uh, Jennifer and myself had to go over the railings, these balustrades. There's no ropes, there's no harnesses, there's just a camera crew and the two of us going, ah, da -da -da -da, like, you know. And it was extraordinary to think that we were allowed to do that. I feel dizzy. After two series, they ran out of books to adapt and the show ended. Marcus started his own business, Jennifer became a teacher and Gary a writer and TV producer. Why do you think The Famous Five has endured for so long? They're such strong adventure stories, they've got such a sense of freedom, they're very, very easy to access, they're very easy to read. It works in any era you set it in because the fundamental idea of, of, of four kids and a dog going off and having fun and having adventures, that's an eternal story. It doesn't matter when it's set. Kids will look at it and go, those people are having a good time, they're having fun and they're being brave and they're solving crime. That never goes away. That, that's an enduring sort of trope of good writing. What makes the five so famous? Well, perhaps it was simply that we all wanted to be them. And today, 75 years on, we still do.